I have to show Gabrielle what's going on for he may tell me to do something else, I don't know. I gotta at least demonstrate it. I want you to run the toilet tub a little when I'm done. Okay. Just a little. Okay, go ahead. Okay, right, stop. All right, so here's what's going to have to happen. Now that I have this open, I can look at it. I'm going to have to have you... Uh, in that tub again so I can see where that came from. Run the tub for a minute for about two minutes or not, I mean five seconds. I'm gonna see where it comes from. All right, you ready? Tub on. Okay, stop. Okay. What the fuck? How's the tub draining from that pipe? That was the tub? The fuck? <laughs> That's coming from up above. Are you some kind of ghost or what's going on? Who are you? You trying to pick us? How the fuck is it coming from there? What do you want? Run away. Let's get away. Let's go. Let's get away. What do you want? Okay. Alright. Now. Unfortunately we gotta do one more thing. Are you? Can you hear me? Okay, flush the toilet one time for me. Huh? No. I know. I, I'm trying to see where it's what it's where it's coming from. You flushed it. I didn't even see that do anything. Mm. All right, there it goes, starting to. All right. Okay. No, that's fine, you can stop. I mean, no more. All right, so that's somewhere in the wall there. All right, I got it. So once we lifted the toilet up, I'm taking some documentation, hold on. Uh, clearly we can see the uh, pipe is clogged. It's full of water. So what's happening is as you run water from the tub and flush the toilet, it's just uh, backing up from the probably going to the main stack. So there's a claw between here the tub and the main stack somewhere So every time you flush it's just coming up. It's going through here and Going down that pipe that I located earlier, which is yeah, I can see this is that lead pipe right here Because how it's bent down onto the flange um, So that's what's happening. So we're gonna have to see if we can clear the pipe and uh, if I can unclog it, that would probably solve all the problems. Then we just have to fix the uh, the ceiling again. And plus, it doesn't help that the uh, wax seal is pretty much. Let me see. That wax seal is pretty much wasted right there, as you can see. So it was kind of leaking anyway. But uh, something's clogged here. 
So that would be, I would want to go ahead and try to run a snake. Um, maybe try to run it from here, see if I can get it to clear. Otherwise it may have to be run from somewhere else, but we can start with this. All right. We're gonna document this too. No, he ain't. It happens. He's not gonna be on your ass. It's just part of part of the nature. Got to get it all. And I fixed this for you too. Your little stopper. It was broke. It was just off the track, but it's back on now. It's all right. Believe me, I'm not blaming you for anything. And that pipe was in the way too. I moved that over. Yeah. But you know, this has been running for a while now over here. Mm -hmm. It's going down good. I already cleared that, but I'm going to clear this all out I too. Got, when you went downstairs, you didn't hear no water going down? Like, you want to check? We can go down and look, but I, I'm sure it's not because I know why it was doing it. But you can look and see. We will look for sure. I just want to get all this up here first, and then we go. We'll check it. That's exactly what it was. What? Is the water running? It's running. Is it still cold? Is it where was it leaking down there? No. Yeah, I know. I know what it was doing. It was backed up, and it was coming up to here and coming through the floor here. And running, I, I watched it. Did you bring the wax seal? I did. I did bring it, yes. I might have left it in the car, but I brought it. <laughs> it's probably sitting on my seat, ain't it? It's not in my bag, is it? Alrighty. So now, so that I'm running the water. I've been running this for like 20 minutes now. So it's definitely clear. Clear here, no backup. Uh, no leaks. Also fix this for you, because this was out of broke. Um, been running this tub for quite a while now too, about 10 minutes. And I'm down fine. Examine the ceiling real quick. It's really wet. Let's see. <sighs> do, 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 do. All right. So let's see here what we got. So this is where all the leak was originally coming from. And you see the water's running. You can even hear it. And. It has stopped leaking. There's a big plug that I unclogged. That's what was causing the backup. Um, having a general look at pipes. They look pretty good. I don't see any leaks anywhere. Nothing active. Coming over here, there was a lot of water too. But this is the pipe where dude had fixed it at one time. Looks like it's holding up. I don't see any leaks on it at all that dry out first and then I will do a little check on the supply lines but they don't look like they're leaking but they're it's just hard to tell with all the water dripping from the from the uh, floor there this is definitely solved over here no more drips at all so that's good that was where it was all coming from but I want to monitor this a little more later may change them supply lines out if they're leaking but i can't see that they are yet i have to wait till it dries just drips from this from the floor everywhere okay all right so 
went ahead, rebuilt this flange, and we're going to use the waxless seal because the supply line is hot water instead of cold like it should be, so it's just melting, going to melt the wax ring. I tried putting that on there, and you see what happened. It's melted. So this should definitely hold up. And uh, I'll put new bolts in there so that can all hold up. And then I caulk the, just kind of where that holes were at, just kind of caulk that a little bit. And I might actually, I might actually caulk that a little bit more yet. I can see a couple spots here. I Feel still. Just there's just that big old hole there. I just feel feel like it'd be better uh, if it ever fails. At least this will keep the water from falling down the ceiling as much. That's kind of what I'm after here. This is a little extra insurance policy in case of a failure. At least it'll should hold it in a little better. So it ain't going down into the floor as much. Yeah, that's better. We'll just kind of just smooth that out, make sure it's sealed good. My thumb. Just gonna seal that up. Right over to the edge. There we go. There we go. Now I feel that should definitely keep it from leaking. All right. Then the other thing we're gonna look at is this. This is all broke, so I got some new um, bolts we'll be putting on a little bit. All right, so fix the uh, toilet lid so it ain't wobbling around. Let's do a little sample flush again one more time. Okay, good. And uh, I need my light here. I'm gonna go look down one more time down there. Just look for leaks here, which I'm sure there will be none, of course. No. Looks good. One more time. Okay, one more time downstairs. Just for that final. No, I just did it twice. That's enough. I'm just going to see if I see anything down here now. Okay. That, that's enough to show me everything. Okay, then coming back up to the pipe after I flushed twice. Not a drip. Not a drip. Yep, it's good.